Hey guys, it's Tilly and welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a very special unboxing of the Never Never Book Box. So the Never Never Book Box is a book subscription box that is themed around sci-fi and fantasy books. This theme of this box is questing and I'm going to go straight into it because I'm so excited to finally open this. I already did the dangerous cutting of the tape beforehand so that you guys wouldn't have to watch me embarrassingly stab at this box with a huge knife. So from first appearance you have this little letter here which has been a wax stamp sealed which I am actually already in love with. I just don't want to break it. Every great venture starts with a determined person setting out on an adventure. We all have our journeys and this box is dedicated to all things quest related. This box is just a taste of what's to come so our reviewers and early birds can see a little of what we have to offer. So I should say now that the Never Never Book Box is a new subscription company and they have sent out these books um, to a few different people to open and review as well. So in, for exchange of this box I'm giving them my honest opinion and so far I'm already impressed just by a wax seal. All right, I am unveiling the black tissue paper to more black wormy paper and already I'm seeing stuff that I'm very curious about. This looks like it's a little pot of tea. So this is a Dragon Slayer Chai Tea, which is a blend of Ceylon Black Tea, Byron Bay Chai from the Source Bulk Goods. With cloves, cinnamon and star anise, this tea is tea inspired by the fiery Arthurian legend of Merlin and the Warring Dragons. I am literally just so curious as to these little fluffy feet that are just sticking out of this box. So I'm just gonna forget the other stuff for a second. Oh my god. Oh, this is the softest little teddy rabbit I have ever felt. I think I'm actually in love. Oh, Chester Finnegan, Mayor of Fluff Town, vote one for Chester. This is a book hangover bunny. I just, I'm just gonna put him over near my bath bombs for now. And you guys make sure he stays safe. Damn. This is like a miniature leather journal. Oh my God. It's got a compass on the front there. This is so damn cool. I haven't even got to the book yet. And I'm already so impressed. Oh. oh, look at the little anchor bookmark too. This is so cool. I think I'm already in love. We have three absolutely stunning watercolored um, bookmarks here as well. So these are from My Tuski, which I will leave like the link to below so you guys can get the spelling correctly there because I know that I probably didn't do that justice. But these are going to be bookmarks that I probably won't use because I know that I will destroy them. And these can't be destroyed because look at them. I've so this also contains an ebook card for the Grief Hall by Karen Warren. I will leave a link to that one so you guys can go and check it out. And I'm actually pretty excited to read it. It does sound like it's going to be very emotional but good at the same time. Alright, alright, alright. I think it is book time. And once again, the packaging for this is really astounding. It has been wrapped up here with the sticker as well on the front there. And I don't want to ruin the sticker so you guys are going to watch me just painfully slowly tear this off. So the book itself is Altaker. This is book one in the Chronicles of Altaker by Tracy M. Joyce. It came with a little signed book plate from her and a bookmark as well. And oops, a little letter as well. So this is a letter from the author to the readers and I'm excited to read that. Ooh, that is so cool. I'm actually really excited. So what is Altaker? And I really apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrongly, but hopefully I am correct. Isaru, little is known about her race, but much is whispered. Born to refugee, she grows up enduring racism and superstition within a community that fears her. She has new friends and those she treasures. Trapped, she longs for escape for a different life. Escape is the only beginning of her troubles. Having fled an invading army with her friends, Isora is faced with heinous choices in order to survive. Secrets from her past emerge to torment her and threaten to destroy all she holds dear. Her struggles forge a bond with an ancient power, a power which may transform and consume her. Old hatreds and superstitions are renewed and at her most vulnerable, she learns the true nature of those around her. Her only hope lies in a foreign land, a land rich in tradition, ruled by three powerful clans. A land with a history marked by warfare, where magic as we know it does not exist. Instead, what is here, in abundance, is more primal power. 
Survival carries a high price. Welcome to our taker. This sounds like it's going to be a pretty wicked fantasy and judging by the cover as well, there's going to be some action in there too. And I'm actually really excited to read it. I am currently suffering a reading slump, but hopefully I will get out of that soon. So just going back through all the items that were in the box, I'm going to read straight off the cards so you guys know which companies they all came from, as well as what Never Never has to say about them. Every keen adventurer needs to document their epic journey. Now you're in a bard, can scribe and style with an awesome leather bound journal. Styled after your typical fantasy journals, this notebook is made with soft fox leather you can add pages to as you wish. Heroes often encounter monsters on their quest, and these magical creatures often bestow gifts upon brave travellers. These gorgeous watercolour feather bookmarks from Mai Tsuki are inspired by such a token, be it a harpy, thunderbird, or golden goose. After every gruelling challenge, adventurers need to take a moment to regain their strength. To help relax after your hard day saving kingdoms, enjoy our exclusive Dragon Slayer Charm Chai tea, a blend of Ceylon black tea and Byron Bay chai from the source bulk goods with clove cinnamon and star anise. This tea is inspired by the fiery Arthurian legend Merlin and the Warring Dragons. Every adventurer needs a trusty animal companion and a book quest is no exception. So here is your very own book hangover bunny, a fluffy friend for you to pet, stroke or squeeze to help you recover the next time a book gives you all the feels. This box's ebook is The Grief Hole by Karen Warren. This award-winning novel is a journey to the depths of sadness in both your mind and the physical world, with a protagonist that treads the line between living and dead. The book for this box is Our Taker by Tracy M. Joyce. This epic fantasy adventure is the first novel in the Chronicles of Our Taker. I feel like I'm saying that differently every time I try to pronounce the title of this book. Our protagonist must journey to the new land to discover more about herself, her people, and her growing abilities, but faced with old hatreds, superstitions, and brand new power dynamics, her quest is far from an easy one. Thank you so, so much to Never Never Box for sending me out this one. I have loved every single item in this box, especially my book Hangover Bunny, and I really cannot wait to, to read this book. I think it's going to be a really, really great book subscription box because they target sci-fi and fantasy, and I know that like a lot of you guys are like me and really, really love both of those genres. So it's pretty good to know that you're going to be able to get this box and most likely enjoy the book because it's already a genre that you like. So coming up for the Never Never Box, they have their first official box that will be released in November and the theme is the stories we keep. So this will focus on stories that have helped shape our popular culture and it is for fans of historical fantasy, Alice in Wonderland and awesome speculative fiction. I will leave all the links to the Never Never book box below so you guys can take a look at them and subscribe to the next box and just say hi to them because they're really really nice people. And they created this amazing box which I actually thoroughly enjoyed and loved and I cannot wait to just take my time to just sit there with all these items and just be so grateful for them. Especially Chester Finnegan. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this unboxing and I'll be back again soon with another video and until then you guys have a lovely bookish day and I will see you soon. Bye! Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here to show you guys my new bath product range that I have just started on my website at tillyandherbooks.com. I am very excited to show you guys